In this tutorial, we will see some basic operations such as creating a new form, creating steps and components, applying prices to components and creating visibility conditions. Click the Create a Form button to open the Form Creation Wizard. This step allows you to define the title of your form and choose a form template, which will allow you to start building your form more easily. In this tutorial, we will choose blank to create a form from scratch. This step allows you to upload an image, such as a logo, to automatically extract the main colors or to enter them manually. This step allows you to quickly configure the localization options of your form. If you have entered your OpenAI key in the global settings of the plugin, it is possible to use the AI to automatically fill in these options, as well as the translations of the form texts. This step allows you to quickly define some of the main options of the form. All this can be modified later from the settings panel of the form. This step allows you to easily modify the main texts of the form. This last step allows you to choose the type of step builder you want. The Visual Step Builder is a tool that allows you to visually edit the content of the steps, organize your steps into sections, and move components by drag and drop, while the Classic Step Builder allows you to manage articles through a list of articles, focusing on information rather than the visual aspect. We choose the Visual Step Builder for this tutorial. Here is the Steps Manager of our form. Currently, it does not contain any steps, except for the final step containing an email and message field by default. This is the navigation menu. By default, the Steps Manager view is enabled. The Last Step button allows you to edit the content of the final step of the form. The Form Settings button allows you to manage all the options and features of the form. The Variables button allows you to create variables that can be modified, used in calculations and displayed in the form. The Orders button allows you to view, edit and download the different orders placed from this form. The Statistics button allows you to access the graphs illustrating the evolution of the totals of the orders placed. Finally, the Designer button opens the Form Designer, a powerful tool for editing the form styles in detail and automatically generating the corresponding CSS rules. Let's click the Add a Step button to create our first step. The step is displayed in the Steps Manager in the form of a circle that can be freely moved and linked to other steps. When the cursor hovers over the circle of a step, it displays the different features related to this step. The flag icon allows you to set this step as the starting step of the form. This is the step that will be opened when the form is displayed. The link icon allows you to create a link from this step to a next step. Each link can have different conditions in order to create a completely dynamic form, whose steps are different depending on the choices made. These aspects will be discussed in a future video. The pencil icon allows you to edit the content of this step. The copy icon allows you to duplicate the entire step with its options and content in one click. Finally, the trash icon allows you to delete this step from the form. Here is the content of our step. It is made up of sections, which contain columns, which contain components. Let's start by creating a first section by clicking the plus button. When a section is hovered over by the cursor, a toolbar appears at the top right of the section. The movement icon allows you to move the section by dragging it to the desired position. The plus icon allows you to add a new column in this section. The eye icon allows you to edit the visibility conditions of the section so that it is only displayed when the defined conditions are met. The copy icon allows you to duplicate the entire section and its content in one click. The paint icon allows you to edit this section with the form designer tool. The trash can icon allows you to delete this section from the step. When a column is hovered over by the cursor, a toolbar appears, allowing you to adjust its size or delete it. Let's click the plus button in one of the columns to create our first component. Here is the list of available components. Let's click on button. Our button appears correctly in the target column. We will now create a slider component in the second column. When a component is hovered over by the cursor, a toolbar is displayed, allowing moving, editing, duplicating, modifying styles, and deleting. Edit our first component by clicking the pencil icon. Here is the component edition panel. It consists of three tabs, whose options are dynamically displayed or hidden, depending on the type of component chosen. The general tab contains the main options of the component, such as the title, step, type, description, etc. The Price and Quantity tab contains all the options relating to the price and quantity of the item. Finally, 
The Appearance tab contains the options that concern the visual aspect of the edited component. The Save button must be clicked to save all the changes made in the form. For this form, we want that when the Business Cards button is clicked, the slider appears in order to select the desired quantity and add the price to the total. We enter the title of the slider and define the minimum and maximum quantities that can be selected. In the Price and Quantity tab, we will define the unit price of a business card in the Price option. This cost will be automatically multiplied by the quantity selected by the user. Let's activate the Show Depending on Conditions option and click the Edit Conditions button to edit the visibility conditions of this component. Here is the Conditions Editing panel. This same panel allows you to define the conditions of articles, steps, links, and even price or quantity calculations. Let's click the Add a Condition button and define the selection of the Business Cards button as the visibility condition of our slider. So we have our Business Cards button and our Number of Cards slider correctly configured. We will now duplicate the section in order to create a second Flyers option at our stage. Let's edit the new button component in order to update its title. Then edit the new slider to update its title, its price, and its visibility condition. Let's now test our form by clicking on the Preview button. The Preview page of the form is displayed in a new tab. We can see that our sliders are displayed and hidden dynamically depending on the state of the corresponding button, as expected. On the other hand, we see that the progress bar fills up too quickly, it immediately goes to its maximum position. To fix this, we go back to the Form Editing page and click on the Form Settings button. The Form Options panel is displayed, organized in several tabs. The General tab contains the main options of the form, the Date and Currency tab contains the form localization options. The Texts tab allows you to edit the different texts displayed in the form. The Email tab allows you to modify the content of the emails sent to the admin and the client, as well as the content of the generated PDF files. The Last Step tab displays the options related to the last step, such as the legal notice, the capture, etc. The Payment tab allows you to configure an online payment using PayPal, Stripe, or Razorpay. The Summary tab allows you to customize the summary of the selection made, which can be displayed in the final step of the form, but also in the emails and PDF files sent. The Discount Coupons tab allows you to add support for discount codes in the form. The GDPR tab allows you to set up an email verification and allow the customer to modify and delete their personal information. The Design tab contains the options related to the visual aspect of the form. The Main Colors tab allows you to easily modify all the colors used in the form. The option that interests us is called Maximum Progress Bar Price and is located in the General tab of the panel. Let's enter the value, 1000, which means that the price progress bar will be full when the total amount is equal to or greater than 1000 euros. Let's click the Save button to apply the change to the form and then test it again. The form now works as we want. That's all for this first tutorial. In the next one, we'll see how to create different steps and create conditional links between them in order to create a form whose steps adapt to the choices made in the form. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.